first go to android x86.org we're going to choose the latest version of android and then we're going to fossilhub.com to download this version of android if you have 32-bit system you download this if you have a 64-bit system you download this if you don't know download this one click it and it'll download it for you save it onto your desktop Next, we're going to rufus.ie to download the Rufus bootable USB drive application. Go down here, find the latest version, and in this case, it's rufus.3.5. Click it, save it to your desktop. Okay, load the Rufus application from your desktop. Make sure you put in your USB that you want. Then select the USB that you want. Mine has been labeled Android Live CD because it's already been done. Yours will be something else. So whatever it is, just make sure it is the correct one. What you don't want to do is accidentally select your external hard drive or something else. So when you've put in the, the disk, just make sure it's the only one there and it's ready to be um, deleted, that there's nothing on it that you want. Otherwise, it will all be erased. This is a dedicated USB for this purpose. And then select the drive that your um, image is on, and for you, it will be on your desktop. Um, I'm just showing you where mine is. So select the version that you want, x86, for 32-bit and x86-64 for 64-bit. If you don't know, just select the x86 version. It will select that one. And then here, you can label it whatever you want. You can just leave it default if you like. Over here, the, FAT, the file system, just leave it on its default of FAT32. You can also leave this cluster size alone. And then when you're ready, click start. And that will start um, formatting the USB and then it will turn it into a bootable drive. Just say OK. I'm not going to say OK because I've already done it. Locate the computer that you want to install the Android operating system on and we're going to switch it on and you'll either be met with your old operating system which is still functioning or no operating system like me or a broken one either way just start the computer again and this time make sure you enter the boot menu by pressing the button that you need to at the start mine was F2 some people are delete or some people are insert and so on you enter this and then you go to the boot section don't touch anything else just the boot section you want to make sure that the usb boot is number one priority and you can do this usually by pressing different buttons and the instructions are usually at the bottom of the bios menu here mine was press f5 f6 to move up and down so you just find the usb one and move it up then go to exit and exit saving changes at this point though don't press it yet just make sure you put in that android um, usb that you created and you're going to be able to boot from it and now press exit saving changes say yes Your computer will reboot again and this time you'll be in the menu with the Android installation. If you don't get this blue background menu, go back to the BIOS and select Legacy Boot. Go to Auto Installation and you will be able to install the application via the USB. Okay, select it and it's gonna 
do its thing. It should look like this with lots of words going down and stuff. Select the hard drive that you want to install on and again make very sure it's the one you want to erase completely. You will not have any files on it besides the Android operating system. Select it and then choose yes. At this point it will start formatting your hard drive and then it will start writing the new operating system onto it. We'll just do a bit of time lapse here and skip to the end. Now make sure you pull out your USB drive from at this point. Otherwise it'll just reboot the whole installation again. And then you can select reboot. Once you've rebooted, it will try to reboot to the Android operating system. You don't have to select anything, but if you do, select the first one and it will try to load your operating system. Depending on how fast your computer is, it might take some time, especially during first boot. It uh, takes a little while. Make sure at this point you have your wireless internet ready or a cable plugged into your computer so you can set up your internet with the Android operating system. On first load you will be met with a language choice. Select the language of your choice. In my case it is not United States English. If you can tap on the screen for the touch screen people you can just use your finger otherwise use your mouse pad. You can, if you're some other English you can actually go down to English. It won't say which type and then you, once you select English it will give you more options here. You can connect to your Wi-Fi. I'm just going to skip this for the sake of this exercise. Select the date and time. Name your computer. For me it's going to be a media center. So I'm going to name it media center. Feel free to uncheck all of these boxes unless you want to involve Google locations and different options. You can probably even set up your Gmail account, but at this point I'm not going to do that. Now when this pops up just select launcher 3 and then just tell it to always show that one instead otherwise it will keep popping up. And there you have it. You have successfully installed an Android operating system onto a computer you're about to throw into the bin. Now you can have a media center or you can use it to watch YouTube or surf the internet and honestly it's actually not that bad because old computers have fairly powerful um, chips and they actually do pretty well web surfing so you don't need to go out and buy a new computer if you've got an old one lying around just turn it into an Android system okay guys if you have any question uh, or comments just write them below I'll try my best to help you out with anything you need good luck